welcoming you on the mat in a comfortable cross-legged seat as we set ourselves down for a strong, powerful, playful yoga practice, working on balance poses and detoxing, working through twists. So as you get started, bring the thumb and index finger together, roll your shoulders open and come to sit up tall, breathing in from the earth, centering yourself, grounding, pausing in your belly, in your core, your solar plexus, the Muladhara Chakra, taking it up to your heart, all the way up through the crown of your head, setting an intention for this time on the mat for your practice today, balancing your body, balancing the mind, and energizing the body through twisting process. Let's start the practice together with an O as we open the palms and take them up, stretching the arms out. Open the eyes, bring the palms down to your heart center. Let's pause, open on your belly button, exhaling, release the elbows down. Inhale, stretch up, open the shoulders, open the chest, exhale, release, and inhale, let's spread out. Exhale, let's bring it all back home to heart center. Let's start the warm up, reaching onto one side. Moving with the breath, flowing through vinyasa, one movement, one breath, taking it to the other. As you inhale, exhale, center, release down forward, walk forward, walking the hands on your fingertips. Keep the buttocks grounded, knees out wide open, and slowly start to walk back in. Breathing in, inhale up, and this time as you exhale, let's start to add spinal rotations, releasing back, release the right palm back, inhale the left hand up, stretch up, open the chest, opening the hips, opening your heart, and smiling, come back down to center, reach up once again, and as you exhale, rotate. You're still warming up, so go easy, but start to activate your fingers, your upper arms, as you release back firmly, and inhale, reach up, exhale, release it back down. And this time, let's give ourselves a hug. Breathe, inhale, feel the breath from your belly, rise all the way up, up through your elbows, exhale, curl in. Inhaling, open up, exhale, bring it back in, opposite elbow on top, reaching up. And exhale, releasing back down. Inhale. Add a gentle twist from your spine as you reach over towards the left, lengthening. And inhale, come back in. Let's take it to the other side. Reaching over the right knee this time, lengthen forward. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, release to either side. And let's extend over side to side, reaching up. Keep the arm long, fingertips active. As you feel the breath from your middle finger all the way to the right butt. Inhale, float over. And exhale, release over to the opposite side. Inhaling, coming back to center. Maybe adding a couple of shoulder rolls. Lifting with the breath, inhaling, exhaling. And let's take the hands back behind us as we reach up, open the chest up, lift up. And as you exhale, let's fold forward, releasing down, releasing the head wherever it reaches comfortably. Keep lifting the arms up and slowly let's lift up back with the breath. Coming back in, release, shake it out and meet me in neutral tabletop. Palms pressing down. All in one straight line, wrist, elbow, shoulders, and toes extended out. Button knees in one straight line in the back, hip width distance apart. Slowly warming up the spine, moving through cat cows, curling in Marjoriasana, rounding the spine, cat pose, keep the toes tucked in, 
inhale float forward smile widen your shoulders cow pose bitil asana exhale lift up moving at your own pace breathing in and out depending on how you want to wake up your body or if you're warmed up maybe moving a little quicker with the breath and let's do one more together pause widen smile and exhale tuck in your toes round release the head down curl the spine as much as you can press the core up and come back to neutral and let's take this back release the butt onto your heels stretch your back and slowly release forward and this time i want you to go beyond the wrist stretching forward exhale empty the belly out release it back maybe bring the big toes to touch now and slowly as you round forward come back go as far forward as you can empty the belly out as you exhale stretching back up this time let's open the knees out wide bring the elbows in maybe making a fist or bringing the thumb and index finger together just resting for a moment as we prepare for some salutations and slowly lifting up to the breath stretching bring the knees in press the palms down tuck in your toes rise up pause in bear pose for just a hover an inch above the mat and exhale let's lift the butt up release the heels down releasing the feet any amount that you can in a short down dog once again come down to hover bear pose and slowly lift from the butt piking your butt up on your tippy toes and slowly start to release the feet down and this time maybe bend the right knee straighten the left leg out and then the other inhaling exhaling keeping the left knee bent let's release the left hand towards the right shin or ankle crossing over to the opposite side inhale forward exhale switch bend the opposite knee release the same side hand so the right hand goes towards the left shin or ankle as deep as you can go inhale forward and pedal your feet out maybe start to walk the feet back lengthening the down dog stretching the legs out fully keeping the weight even between your hands and your feet the body rising in a strong way adho mukha svanasana down dog slowly tippy toe your feet forward maybe you want to bring your hands under the feet to stretch the wrists out rocking front and back or just reach for your big toes padung hastasana inhale exhale or just let yourself hang loose wherever feels comfortable and slowly grab your elbows and start to roll up rocking side to side inhaling reach up and reach over to one side come back to center reach over to the opposite side rise up and exhale palms come back in open out tadasana mountain pose preparing for sun salutations surya namaskar inhale reach up extended hands pose uttita hastasana exhale fold forward uttanasana inhaling half way lift ardha uttanasana exhale release let's take the right knee back release the foot down rise up open up crossing over to the same side as the knee for a twist releasing the right hand down inhale the left hand up maybe you want to add some shoulder opening take the hand back behind you inhale come back up and this time let's straighten the front leg reach down forward inhale slide forward take the left knee back look ahead exhale going down for your vinyasa cobra chest down elbows in inhale slide up high cobra tuck in your toes exhaling adho mukha svanasana kick back high with the right foot bend at the knee bring it forward low lunge on the opposite side 
Remember to reach up, open the chest up, come back to center and then twist over. Release the left hand down, take the right hand back up, take it back behind you, if you did it on the other side, inhaling, as you exhale, release the hands down as you straighten the front leg, option to keep the toes lifted or if you're stretching the ankle out, keep it extended, keeping the full foot extended, releasing down, half splits, bring the knee back in, take it back behind you, breathe, exhale, release, inhale, stretch up, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, down dog. Holding here for a couple of breaths. Breathing in and out into any areas where you feel the tightness. Balancing the weight between the hands and the feet, keeping it even. Kick back high with the left leg. Bring it forward. Bring the right foot in, folding forward, Uttanasana. Bending the knees any, any amount that you need to. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, release. Rise up, Uddha Hastasana. Extended hands pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. Let's add Utkatasana chair pose. Yoga squat. Breathe. Hold. And let's add a twist. Open up to one side. Release the hand outside the opposite foot. Binding outside the knee. Extending the back hand up. Release the back behind you if you wish to go deeper. Inhaling, exhaling. Let's take it back up and to the opposite side as you exhale. Inhaling, exhaling, back behind you. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, fold forward. Rise up halfway. Let's rotate in Ardha Uttanasana. Once again, option to take a bind and take it to the opposite side. Next breath, remember to keep the back flat and release the hand back behind you. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, let it go. Rise up, release down. Let's take the right foot back this time first. Keep the knee off the mat. Inhale, rise up, Anjane Asana, lunge, crescent pose. Staying steady on the front foot. Add a twist. Rotate our rope. If you wish to go deeper, drop the hand outside the front foot. Inhale up. Once again, opening the shoulders. Look back behind you. Inhale. Come back up. And bring the hands to heart center. As you straighten the front leg, drop the back foot out open. Stretch up and release down forward. Breathing in and out, inhaling, exhaling. Come back in, bending the front knee, kick back, flowing through Chaturanga or keeping the knees down for Cobra. Urdhva Mukhashwanasana, if your knees are down, between high Cobra. Exhaling, Adho Mukhashwanasana, down dog. Pedaling your feet out. Kick back high with the right foot, bend at the knee, bring it forward. Front knee over the ankle, keep extending the back leg out, keep lifting the kneecap. Legs remain strong, grounding. Inhale, lift with the breath. Crescent pose, Anjani Asana. Maybe you can sink a little deeper and twist, exhale, release. Release the right hand back behind you. Inhale, come back up with the breath. Bring the foot in. Keep the front knee bent as you release the back foot out. And exhale, release down forward. Letting go, surrendering the torso, the body onto the front leg. Excellent stretch for your front leg. Feeling the breath travel up all the way from the heels to the hips. Inhale. Come back forward, press down firmly, kick back, sliding forward, exhaling down halfway, inhaling, stretching up, up dog, exhale, down dog. Catch your breath, 
Catch your pause. Breathing. Preparing for some balancing poses in the next round. Kick back high with the left foot. Bring it forward. Bring the right foot in. Fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale. Release. Rise back up. Urdhva Hastasana. Extended hands pose. Exhale. Hands come to heart center. Open the palms out. Inhale. Reach up. Come back down. Utkatasana. Chair pose. Lift the left foot off. Crossing it over. The opposite knee. Inhaling. Extending out. Reach forward. Halfway. Exhale. Release. Cross the foot over, sink a little deeper, deeper stretch in the standing leg, inhale, rise back up, come back down, Utkatasana, chair pose on the opposite side, sinking deeper, single legged squat, Ekapada, Utkatasana, chair pose, reach up, reach forward, flat back, release down halfway, maybe you want to use blocks, as you stay here for support as feels comfortable opening your hips starting to prep for balancing on one foot cross the foot over exhale it out inhale rise back up stretch up exhale fold forward let's take the left foot back and then the right hold strong plank breathe exhale down dog Adho Mukha Svanasana. Every down dog trying to go a little longer. Trying to bring the heels a little closer to the mat. And smoothly flowing forward. Inhaling. Exhaling. Three. You can always take breaks and rest in child's pose. As such, if you need to, catch your breath. Get a sip of water. Or keep moving at pace. And one, exhaling, down dog, last one, let's slide forward, holding a strong plank, breathe, bring the right knee down, turn the foot out, open up. Option, if you want to directly go into a strong side plank, stacking all the way from the wrist to the elbows to the shoulders on the front hand, extend the bottom leg up and rise up breathe adding some rotations rotating side to side inhaling exhaling staying here on the left now rotate in and out a couple of times breathe and exhale release take it to the opposite side stretch up rotate under Inhaling, exhaling, come back down to center, flowing through an optional vinyasa, chaturanga, urdhva, mukhaswanasana, exhaling, adho, mukhaswanasana. Breathe. And this time, as you bring the right knee down, open up on vashistasana, side plank, on the right side. Inhale, extend out forward. You always have the option of keeping the front knee down, the bottom knee, or start with crunches in and out. Five, staying long, kicking high, exhaling. Four, three, and two, and one. Release it out. Optional vinyasa, throwing up and exhaling it back or stay rested in child's pose on your knees. Stretch it out as we prepare for the opposite side. Inhaling, sliding forward, bring the left knee down, open the right foot out. Inhale, extend out. And if you're as such, you can keep the bottom leg extended or keep it down as you start with crunches with the top leg crunching in extending out exhaling inhaling exhaling front toes are pointed 
three and two and one release it out maybe you need to switch sides like me coming back forward optional vinyasa inhaling look towards your left and towards your right exhale it out other mukha svanasana down dog let's add the twist once again releasing the right hand to the left shin or ankle maybe you want to keep the right leg straight this time or keep it bent if you did so earlier and if that allows you to go deeper inhaling sliding forward exhaling let's take it to the opposite side breathe release inhale slide forward one more vinyasa if you wish to reach up exhale adho mukha svanasana pedal your feet out walk or hop to the front of the mat landing in between your hands inhale come up halfway exhale release rise back up urdhva hastasana exhale hands to heart center and release out tadasana inhale reach up send the hands pose come back down utkatasana chair pose this time let's bring the hands to heart center and hook the right elbow outside the left knee and open up breathe inhale and exhale take it to the other side prayer position anjali mudra releasing the elbow hooking it outside the opposite knee maybe you want to open up once again and inhale come back to center let's extend the arms out and this time let's take the right foot back open it out front knee is bent vira one warrior one breathe hold center yourself in your heart with your breath with balance and let's kick the back leg up to come up in warrior 3 flat back if you need support use a wall release your hands in front or stay here with me looking down staying steady on the standing leg just a couple more breaths 3 2 one let's release the right hand down open up half moon pose ardha chandrasana twisting balancing and exhale it out come back down forward breathe inhale come up halfway exhale release it out bring the hands to heart center utkatasana chair pose let's take it to the opposite side extending the left leg back keeping the front knee bent breathe and rise up strong warriors veera bhadrasana one prepare yourself to balance on the right foot this time as you bring the hands to heart center start to kick up reach up reach forward flat back hips remain square inhale exhale and with control let's release the left hand down this time open up towards the right side you can always use a block in front of you if you need to breathe inhaling exhaling and with control bring the back foot in folding forward uttanasana inhaling halfway ardha uttanasana let's release it out side out exhale it out Folding forward, inhale, come up halfway, and start to rise up, reaching up. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Pedaling your feet out. Breathe. Let's put it together. Inhale, reach up, come down. Utkatasana, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Open up, release it down. bring it back in take it to the opposite side inhale come back to center exhale release it down take the right foot back inhale warrior one one breath kick up 
warrior three release the right hand down open up half moon pose twisting open maybe this time you want to take the hand behind you and slowly bring the palms down this time stay with me and take the left foot back slide forward exhaling down chaturanga inhaling up exhaling adho mukha svanasana down dog kick back high with the right foot bring it forward breathe release the left foot down inhale rise up warrior 1 bring the hands to heart center warrior 3 vira padrasana release the left hand down open up towards the right side once again optional bind take it back inhaling exhaling as your hands come down release the back foot bring the hands slightly in if you need to kick back flowing through your vinyasa release it down stretch it up exhaling let it go pedal your feet out if you need to the strong down dog inhale exhale or hold steady doing what works for you today slowly exhale it up release the knees down and come down to sit preparing for core breathe extend the legs out boat pose navasana let's start to act twist as we kick up and down moving with your breath inhaling the hands back exhaling up and down inhale exhale working on lower core and obliques at the same time breathe exhale and maybe not getting confused like me with the sides inhaling exhaling 5 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 and let's hold inhale exhale try to smile almost there and bring it in folding forward release it out slowly walk the hands back in and extend out this time we'll do high boat to low boat if you need to you can come back down on your forearms or stay as such extending out coming back in 10 9 Inhale, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Hold, hold, hold. Release it out, crossing the other foot on top. If you remember, exhale, stretch it out, release and forward. Inhale slowly, walk back in, and breathe. Sit up tall, and let's take the right knee, right foot, cross it over, half Lord of the Fishes pose, seated twist, starting to cool down. Hug the knee in. Inhale the right hand up. Let's take it back behind, turn over, and as you exhale, pause, lifting the left hand. Exhale. Hook it outside the knee, maybe taking it to the ankle in the front, or pausing right here, looking over. Working on detoxing, pressing the thigh against the belly, inhaling, exhaling. Maybe you want to start to close your eyes already, and come back into center. Before we take it to the other side, let's fold forward, stacking the knees. Reach up and release down. Maybe your chin comes over the knees. If you need support, just give yourself a hug. Go a little deeper. Make fists, resting your chin as feels comfortable. Letting go, breathing it out. come back up and let's take it to the opposite side taking the left foot out this time hug the knee in 
inhale exhale as you rotate release and look over looking over your left shoulder this time sitting up tall inhale exhale feel the belly against the thighs slowly let's release it out grab your ankles stack the knees inhale exhale lengthen forward maybe also using this time to think about how the practice felt what helped you with the balance what you need to work on how did it feel to do the twist rotating and flowing side to side with your breath and slowly bring your hands back in and let's shake the legs out inhaling rising up sitting up tall dandasana stuff pose releasing down forward if you're feeling still very tight in your legs and your hamstrings you can always bend the knees as you reach out forward once again toes can be up or out inhaling exhaling slowly walk back with your breath traveling up through your legs through your calves your hamstrings opening up the chest as you take it back up exhaling folding the legs in and opening the palms out onto your knees in a comfortable cross legged seat starting to close your eyes sealing the practice thumb and index finger together look towards your right center exhaling towards the left and center releasing the chin to the chest maybe even curling the spine in inhaling looking up opening the heart the chest exhaling coming back to center stick the palms up look up smile and bring your breath bring the balance back home i hope you can also share your stories your journeys as we grow and flow together and i look forward to seeing you soon again bye